Let us evaluate the following integrals. Number 1, find the integral of 3 dx. So we need to apply some basic integration theorems. In this case, we apply theorem number 3, where our k is equal to 3. k times dx, where k is constant. We have here 3, which is constant, times dx. So apply the rule. This is equal to k, which is 3, then copy x, then plus c. Or, we can solve it by taking the constant 3 out of the integral first, then find the integral of dx. So to solve for this problem, we need to apply theorem number 2. The integral of dx is just x. So this is equal to copy 3 times the integral of dx, which is x, then plus c. And that's the integral of problem number 1. The integral of 3 dx is equal to 3x plus c. Second, let us find the integral of x raised to 5 dx. Applying some integration formula, we can apply theorem number 4. The integral of x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. So for example, number 2, our n is equal to 5. So n is equal to 5 by applying theorem number 4. And this is equal to, let's follow the rule, x raised to n plus 1. Our n is 5, so we have 5 plus 1 divided by n plus 1, 5 plus 1. And do not forget to write plus c. We simplify, so we have x raised to 5 plus 1 is 6 divided by 5 plus 1 is 6, then plus c. And that's the integral of x raised to 5 dx. For number 3, we apply theorem number 5. Since we have a constant a and a function x raised to 4. So apply the rule. This is equal to, we take the constant 8 out of the integral first. Then, Find the integral of x raised to 4 dx. So this is equal to, we copy 8, then find the integral of x raised to 4 dx. So we can apply theorem number 4 to solve for the integral of x raised to 4 dx, where our n is equal to 4. So we have, copy the rule or follow the rule, 8 times x raised to n plus 1, 4 plus 1 is 5, divided by n plus 1, or 4 plus 1, which is 5, then plus c. And that's the integral of number 3. The integral of 8x raised to 4 dx is equal to 8x raised to 5, divided by 5 plus c. For number 4, find the integral of 2x plus 1 times dx. We apply sum and difference rule, theorem number 6, which means to integrate each term separately. So we have integral of the first term, 2x. Do not forget to write dx. Remember, the integrand is always a differential. Plus the integral of the second term, 1 times dx or dx. Then, perform integration term by term. For the first term, we apply theorem number 5. We have a constant 2 and a function x. Apply the rule. This is equal to take the constant 2 out of the integral first and find the integral of x dx plus just copy integral of dx and this is equal to 2 times find the integral of x dx 
In this case, we apply power rule or theorem number 4, where our n is equal to 1. Remember, if there's no exponent, that means it is 1. So apply the rule x raised to 1 plus 1, where our n is 1, divided by n plus 1. Plus, find the integral of dx, apply theorem number 2, the integral of dx is x, then add plus c. Simplify, this is 2 times x raised to 1 plus 1 is 2, divided by 1 plus 1 is 2, plus x plus c. We can still simplify the equation by dividing out 2, so we have x squared plus x plus c. And this is now the integral of number 4. For number 5, since the integrand is comprised of more than one term, we need to apply sum and difference rule or theorem number 6, which means to integrate each term separately. So this will become integral of 4x raised to 8 dx minus integral of 9x raised to 5 dx plus integral of 4x squared dx minus integral of 6 times dx. Then, Take the constants out of the integrals by theorem number 5. So this will become 4 times the integral of x raised to 8 dx minus 9 times the integral of x raised to 5 dx plus 4 times the integral of x squared dx minus 6 times the integral of dx. Now, we are ready to perform term-by-term -term integration. We must apply power rule or theorem number 4 to the first, second, and third term and theorem number 2 to the fourth term. Thus, this will become copy 4 times what's the integral of x raised to 8 dx. Apply theorem number 4 which says that it is equal to x raised to n plus 1. Our n is 8 plus 1 is 9. Divided by 8 plus 1 is 9. Minus, copy 9, times x raised to 5 dx is x raised to 5 plus 1 is 6. Divided by 5 plus 1 is 6 plus copy 4 times x raised to 2 plus 1 is 3 divided by 3 minus copy 6 then find the integral of dx by applying theorem number 2. Integral of dx is just x. Then do not forget plus c. We can still simplify the equation by reducing 9x raised to 6 over 6 in its lowest form. And this is equal to 4x raised to 9 divided by 9 minus, we divide the top and the bottom by 3. So 9 divided 3 is 3 times x raised to 6 divided by 6 divided 3 is 2 plus, copy, 4x cubed over 3 minus 6x plus c. And this is the integral of number 5. For number 6, find the integral of 4 times the square root of x dx. Don't be intimidated by this problem. Though no radicals appear in any of the previous theorems, we can always transform radicals into their power form or exponential form and then apply rule number 4, the power rule. Remember to keep in mind that the nth root of x raised to m is equal to x raised to m over n. So let us first rewrite square root of x into its power form. 
So this is equal to the square root of 4 times x raised to 1 half times dx. Then, take the constant out of the integral. So we have 4 times the integral of x raised to 1 half dx. Apply rule number 4 to evaluate x raised to 1 half dx where your n is 1 half. So let us follow the rule. We first copy 4 times x raised to n plus 1, so 1 half plus 1, divided by 1 half plus 1, then plus c. Simplify, so 4 times x, what is 1 half plus 1? So 1 half plus 1 is equal to 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Then copy the denominator 2. So our 1 half plus 1 is equal to 3 over 2 or 3 halves over 1 half plus 1, 3 over 2. Then plus c. Next, simplify 4 divide 3 halves. So what is 4 divide 3 halves? We copy 4, change the operation to multiplication, and find the reciprocal of 3 halves, which is 2 thirds. Then simplify. 4 times 2 is 8, then copy the denominator 3. So 4 divided 3 halves is 8 over 3. Then copy x raised to 3 over 2 plus c. And this is the integral of 4 times the square root of x dx.